According to the United Nations Population Fund, almost half of pregnancies that occur globally are unintended. So that means that almost half of the pregnancies are unplanned and unwanted. And when there is an unplanned pregnancy, it affects both partners in the relationship in terms of financial stability, in terms of planning their life. A first of its kind in South Africa, developed at Stellenbosch University in the Western Cape, the on-demand reversible hydrogel is a non-hormonal birth control option for men. It works the same way as a vasectomy, but can be reversed. Master's graduate Kyla Rolt, who played a significant role in this innovation, says the idea started in response to the scarcity of male contraceptives. The hydrogel is designed to fill the bar's deference and swell to block the passage of sperm. And particularly what we were interested in was making it on-demand reversible. And what that means is that when you want to reverse it, you inject something into it to make it dissolve and it immediately starts dissolving. So that was the idea behind the male contraceptive that there's no completely reversible non-hormonal male contraceptive. This study has been underway for eight years and Professor Bet Klopperman is confident the work done so far will prove without a doubt to be a game changer, taking them closer to safer, reversible contraception for men. We spoke with uh, urologists at Tigerberg, um, the medical campus of uh, Stellenbosch University. They are very keen to be on board uh, because not in the not too far future, we need to start doing like actual tests on initially uh, on, on animals, you know, first safety, uh, then on animals to see about efficacy. Uh, when all of that works, yeah, then you look at clinical trials and um, yeah, so so that that is sort of a trajectory timeline. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm in, in conversation with the urologists sort of here, uh, their opinion on how long something like this takes. Both Ralt and Klapperman are hoping health tests and clinical trials will not take decades for this technology to be approved and adopted in the market. Nabesutu Ejana, Stellenbosch.